Hey guys, Toast here. Today we're going to review and discuss the Auto Loading 8, a self-loading rifle available for 200 war bonds per variant for the medic class in Battlefield 1. We'll discuss the stats of each of the different variants, attachments, the situations in which the weapon excels, and some tips when playing with this particular weapon. The Auto Loading 8 comes in three different variants, Factory, Marksman, and Extended. Two of the variants, the Factory and Marksman, are quite similar, with the Extended variant being a bit of an outlier. The Factory and Marksman variants have a maximum damage of 42 and a minimum damage of 30. The minimum damage puts it right in the middle of most of the self-loading rifles, however the maximum damage is tied with the M1907 for the highest. Both have the same damage drop-off, dealing maximum damage up to 34 meters, and then dropping off to the minimum damage at 52 meters. This means that they're both 3-shot body shot kills up to 34 meters, dropping off to 4 shots from 52 meters on. This also means that it has the furthest maximum damage range of all of the medic weapons. The rate of fire for both variants is 359 rounds per minute, making it the fastest rate of fire weapon available to the medic class. Both variants have 5 rounds per magazine, and are loaded with individual rounds with at least one bullet remaining, and a strip clip of 5 rounds when completely empty. The defining differences between the two variants comes into play with the spread. The factory variant has greater spread decrease, meaning that the weapon returns to its lowest spread quicker between each shot, where the marksman variant has less spread increase with each subsequent shot, and has better ADS spread while standing still. The extended variant is definitely the outlier of the three variants for a number of reasons. To begin, the extended variant deals a lower maximum damage of 38 instead of 42, and a lower minimum damage of 21 instead of 30. It has significantly shorter maximum damage distance, dealing maximum damage only up to 11 meters and dropping off to the minimum damage at 32 meters, 2 meters closer than the other two variants even begin to descend from their maximum damage. This still solidifies it as a 3-shot body shot kill up to 11 meters, but drops it off to a 5-shot body shot kill at mid to long range. However, to counteract this lower damage model, the extended variant more than makes up for it by offering a 16-round magazine that reloads with a single clip rather than by individual bullets, making reloading in pretty much all situations quicker than the other two variants. The vertical recoil is also reduced by about 35%, making it more accurate with quick follow-up shots, which, coupled with the larger magazine size, means it can be spammed easier in tight situations. The attachments for the Auto Loading 8 don't differ much from what we've seen from other weapons. The Factory variant is one of two variants with iron sights. There are two types of iron sights, both standard and buckhorn. The variant has magnifications of 1x up to 2x, and you also have the option of adding a bayonet for melee kills. The Extended variant is the other variant with iron sights, again both standard and buckhorn. The magnification of this variant also ranges from 1x up to 2x, and you have the same option to attach a bayonet. The Marksman variant has a built-in scope in which you can select one of four reticles, cross, chevron, beam, and post. This is the highest magnification of the variants, ranging from 2.5x up to 4x, and like the other two, you can attach a bayonet. Like many weapons, each variant of the auto-loading aid is really designed for a different range. The Extended is your best option for close range due to the large magazine size, quick reload, and low vertical recoil. Because of the weapon's rate of fire, this gives you increased lethality with the quality of your trigger finger. The Factory variant, while offering the same sights as the Extended variant, has the higher damage model and more recoil and spread reduction per shot, making it great for taking follow-up shots at mid-range targets but without the spam capabilities of the Extended variant in close range. The Marksman variant is designed for long-range engagements thanks to the higher magnification scope offering no less than 2.5x zoom. That said, you want to try to ensure that you're standing still when firing this weapon because it offers the best ADS spread of all variants while still. Unlike most self-loading rifles available to the medic class, there are very distinct damage, range, and mechanical differences between the variants of the auto-loading 8. Where most self-loading rifles differ primarily in sight, recoil, and spread, the auto-loading aid is the only one that's going to reward you far more noticeably for using the proper variants at the proper ranges. The small magazine size and longer reload is going to penalize you for trying to use the factory or marksman variant in close range, where the low minimum damage and short damage drop-off is going to penalize you for trying to use the extended variant at long range. 
While the extended variant is obviously the best suited for close range engagements, don't fall into the trap of assuming that this is the best option to hip fire. While it does have a larger magazine, which is going to make hip firing a little more forgiving, all three variants have identical hip fire spread, so you're technically no more accurate while hip firing the extended variant than the other two. Try to aim down sight with all three variants whenever possible. When using the Marksman or Factory variants, try to ensure you're in a location where you can quickly get to cover to reload. Both variants offer only a 5 round magazine which, combined with the fact that both variants are 3 to 4 shot body shot kills depending on the range, means that you're likely going to be able to secure only one kill prior to the need to reload unless you happen to be really spot on with your headshots. This also means that you should be particularly cognizant of which sidearm you choose to bring with you, as there will be times when you get caught in close range by an enemy where the ability to have a strong sidearm that you're comfortable with is going to be paramount. Now I want to know how you feel about the auto-loading 8. Do you like the weapon and feel it's viable? Or do you feel that there are other weapons that may be better options for the medic class? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.